From the simple engines of the 70s and 80s to the largest and most detailed of the present day, let's dive into the history of LEGO engines. The first official LEGO engines can be traced all the way back to 1977 and the launch of the LEGO Expert Builder series, which would later become the Technic series. In this year, we see two different sets that feature engines. The first being set number 853 Auto Chassis, which features, among other parts, a simple inline four engine. This engine used square piston pieces that were the size of a two x two brick and that attached onto these special axle connectors. The second is set number 98959 Motor, which was not available for sale to the public. This set was part of a postcard promotion where, in pre-expert builder sets, a postcard was included with questions regarding the customer's reception of the new series. Those who filled out the postcard received this set as a thank you gift. Like the auto chassis engine, this engine also used the square piston pieces. While 1977 only featured two engines, it introduced a new series that would pave the way, so to speak, for future sets. Fast forward a few years to 1980, and we can see that the new series gets another engine set. This is set number 8858 Auto Engines, which is a 4-in-1 set featuring a V6, an inline 3, a boxer 6, and a 2-stroke. As you can see, the style that these engines are built in is extremely close to the 1977 Auto Chassis engine. Again, they all use the square piston pieces. I actually built one of these engines a few months ago for another video, which you can watch by clicking here. 1980 also saw another car chassis set, number 8860 Car Chassis, which featured a flat four rear engine. LEGO engines would stay this way for the next 10 years. Fast forward to 1990 and we see new parts introduced. The LEGO Technic cylinder, piston, crankshaft, and connecting rod. These pieces came in 1990's Rally Shock and Roll Racer, set number 8840, and the Rally Support Truck, set number 8850. The Shock and Roll Racer had a V-twin rear engine, and the Rally Support Truck had a V6. A year later, in 1991, the LEGO Service Packs, a catalog-based part bag series, featured the cylinder motor, set number 5272, which only came with the necessary engine parts and did not come with any parts to assemble an entire engine. Apart from a special piece introduced in the year 2000 that makes V configurations easier to make, LEGO Technic engines, which have appeared in more than 100 Technic sets, are all basically the same as the ones from 1990. Although LEGO's involvement in engines hasn't gone anywhere since 1990, the building community has continued to create amazing and absolutely mind-blowing LEGO engines, some that can even run. But all that started over 40 years ago. Rewind back to 1983, and Matthias Wandel created the first known instance of an air-powered engine. He used a wooden turbine fan that he built to power his engine. In 1985, Dan Hartman built an oscillating steam engine. I couldn't find any information on this engine other than pictures, but I assume this engine also ran on air. Up until 1994, there were no documented LEGO engines built by the community. That was until Aaron Lastly built his vacuum-powered LEGO engine. There were a few different engines designed by Aaron. It was around the late 1990s that physicist Per Arne Rickbold made an engine using the LEGO pneumatic parts that had been introduced in 1984. These were cylinders that used air pressure to operate. He essentially made, at the time, the most realistic LEGO steam engine because of how closely the two operated. Unfortunately, the video of this engine running has been removed from the Florida State University's Department of Physics website, and it's not available on YouTube as far as I know. Many more people would create LEGO vacuum, air, and pneumatic engines in the following years. Then, in 2009, a YouTuber by the name of LEGO Maniac Man began making LEGO engines that ran using power functions motors. Although he wasn't the first to do this, the first creator of a power functions driven engine is unknown, but he is considered by the LEGO engine community as one of the best LEGO engine builders. Collectively, his YouTube videos have gotten millions of views and range anywhere from diesel engines to flathead V8s. One of the most recent LEGO engine builders is Ronald Tews, who has designed Technic engines for multiple different mock brick companies. Ronald's engines are of the open type, meaning they don't have closed cylinders, heads, and valve covers. They provide a peek inside to show how engines work, and they're all absolutely massive, even larger than LEGO Maniac Man's engines. 
LEGO's engine history has been full of innovation and unique designs, and we as a community can expect to see more and more people and designs enter the scene. Who knows what the next big LEGO engine innovation might be? One thing's for sure, it'll be bigger than anything so far. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.